Hello everybody and welcome to another Elevator Parts video. Today we're going to be taking a look and wiring this generic elevator button. Let's go ahead and get started. So this is the button here. Now this is something that I have never seen here in America. It looks like we have a single button here in the middle that calls the elevator and then we have these lights on the side which indicate which car is moving up or down. So we had two elevators and a single call, so like if the elevator was downstairs, you push the button, this light would turn on until it got to the floor. The little button in the middle has a small green light. The little arrows have the arrow around it and then a little light in the middle. The button's very shiny. You can kind of see around the workshop a little bit. But turning it to the back, we can see where the magic happens. Up here at the top, it says duplex. And I guess this is the model or not really sure. Here we have some more text, which we'll get a better look at when we take the board off. This whole thing is just being held on here with these two screws. So if we want to remove the board, take the two screws off. Once the screws are off, the little board slides out. So here on the back of the button, we've got these little screws here which kind of hold the button into place. You can remove these to take it out. You can see there's where the little LED would go down in this hole here, and here's where the board mounts into. So as for the circuit board, on the back here we can see it says, uh, Nemeth lift, I guess, that's what it says. Kind of interesting. So as for the layout here, we see we have the little green LED in the middle, which is what lights up the button. And I'm not really sure what happened to it. It looks like it's been chipped off or something like that. Here we have the two little micro switches that the button pushes down on. And up here we've got a resistor, we've got a couple diodes, some more resistors down here. And then we've got our four little red LEDs for the little lights around. And then down here on the bottom, we've got these interesting connectors, these little 10 pin connectors. And there's two of them. So I'm guessing each one hooks up to a different elevator controller. So this one will go to this car and this one will go to this car. So for wiring this, we're gonna have to get a little creative with how we hook these up. And I've got an idea of what we can do. So that's the button and the circuit board. So the first thing I would like to do clean this thing up as always. There's a lot of fingerprints on it and there's not really a whole lot of dirt. There's a little bit of paint up here which I think I can get off. But other than that, this is in fairly decent shape. There are some scratches and such on it and the button looks a little uh, scratched up as well. But overall, this thing looks pretty good. All right, so I've cleaned up the button a little bit. Can't really see a huge difference in it. It is a bit shinier and I got all the fingerprints off. Like I said before, we've got these little 10 pin connectors. But if we flip it over and look closely, you'll notice that each of the 10 pins are connected together. So in reality, we only have five different pins for each side. So if we look here, this first pin on the very outside of both sides has this little diode on it. And then that's connected by this strip here, which connects all of the LEDs to a common connector. We've got a resistor here for this one, which brings it down to the middle. And then on each LED, there's another pin, which goes here. There's a resistor on this side, and it brings it to these two right here. So these two pins here activate the red LEDs. This middle pin here is connected together, and that goes up to our switch. Now, if that made literally zero sense, that's okay. What we were going to do is hook up certain wires to each pin. So when we push these buttons in, everything lights up at once. So what I've done here, I've made this little mess. And this is just kind of a testing thing here. So what we have here is seven wires. We have the white and the yellow, which is going to hook up to our battery pack. And then we have our four red LEDs here, and then our common to the switch. So like I said, this doesn't make any sense either. That's okay. We're going to attach this little four pin right here. And then this one is gonna go right there. So that is actually completely wired up. Now I'm going to uh, shorten this cluster of wires. All right, you can see here, I've condense the wires a bit. We've got the little black wires here, which go to the red lights. We've got our little power input here. And all that's left to do is just add the nine volt battery and check it out. So when I press the button down, you see the lights turn on. Now something interesting is only this button here lights up the green, but this lights up all four of them. So the final step is to just place the circuit board back on the panel. Right, now we have the button completely put back together. And you can see when you push it in, it lights up. So if you just kind of push it on one side here, you can light up just that. And when you press it all the way in, it lights up the arrows. So I think that looks pretty awesome. And I think this will be really great back in the Elevate Tours Elevator Museum. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you guys in the next one.